and we are live, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, one and all, to the September 13th, 2022 PlayStation State of Play. It starts in about 15 minutes from now. Don't know what to expect. I don't think we're going to get, like, huge announcements, about, but, but if there's no Act 3, we riot. I agree with the chat here. Um... But what the description says here is with Tokyo Game Show around the corner, it's time to recognize the amazing contributions of Japanese game developers and studios around the world. Our next state of play hits Tuesday, September 13th with about 20 minutes of updates and reveals for 10 games coming to PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, and PlayStation VR 2. So I don't suspect we're going to get a whole lot in the way of, you know, like Marvel Spider-Man 2 trailer or... I may, I, I'm probably not even going to expect God of War Ragnarok to be in this presentation, even though God of War Ragnarok is not too far away. It seems more focused on Japanese developers, so keep that in mind. I know Nintendo had their Nintendo Direct earlier today, and they, um, yeah, it was just more substantial than I expected. I didn't expect them to announce Pikmin 4, <clears throat> or to reveal the release date for Zelda Breath of the Wild sequel titled uh, Tears of the Kingdom. They not only released a little teaser trailer, they announced a release date and uh, gave us the title. Um, a new Fire Emblem from the Nintendo Direct. Uh, yeah, there was like a lot there, including I know a bunch of farm simulators or management simulators that uh, plenty of people pointed out. But um, amidst all that, there were some pretty cool announcements here and there. I don't think State of Play... Uh, is going to be at that level. That was a 40-minute presentation that is closer to 20, so I expect this to be a relatively smaller uh, presentation for PlayStation. But we'll see. Maybe they'll surprise us with a thing or two, and I'm curious to see what games they have in development for PlayStation VR 2, which is set to launch in the not-so-distant future. But uh, in the meantime, yeah. Folks in the chat, let me know what your expectations are, what you're looking forward to. Just, like, temper your expectations so you don't get disappointed when you don't see GTA 6 announced at this event. That's not going to happen, obviously. But, um, yeah, in terms of, uh, in terms of even first-party Sony Studios, I wouldn't expect a whole lot, um, on the Western side of things. Oh, there we go. Starts at 15... Let me adjust the volume here. Hopefully that's good. <clears throat> you guys can still hear me fine, right? JJ Chili Dog says, I hope they show Pragmata. That is a possibility, actually. Uh, I forget, who's making Pragmata? Capcom, using the RE engine, which already is a great sign. RE engine is just so good. They've been using it for not only Resident Evil, but also Monster Hunter and Pragmata and you know, other stuff. Let's see, RE engine. See what games are running on this. Yeah, the, obviously the Resident Evil remakes, Devil May Cry 5, uh, Monster Hunter Rise, um, Resident Evil 4 remake, Exo Primal, Street Fighter 6, I forgot about that, Dragon's Dogma 2. RE Engine is like the new, like de facto engine for Capcom, basically, for AAA games development. Curious to see what they do with Pragmata. I am um, intrigued by the concept of that game. Oh, man, we already got some super chats here. Uh, Assassin says, what's more likely, Silent Hill reveal finally or Bloodborne PC port? Though knowing state of play, half of it will probably be Square NFT Nix. Um, hmm. I would say neither of, neither of those are very likely for this state of play. But if I had to pick one, honestly, Bloodborne PC port is such a mythological legend at this point that I'm going to say a Silent Hill reveal is more likely but then again i mean no actually a silent hill reveal might might be a decent possibility here i mean it is um obviously the original silent hill development studio i mean there were japanese and the ones helming the mainline the new mainline entry that's been leaked that's going to be a japanese studio so i think there's a distinct possibility that may get announced here um i'd say that's more likely than a bloodborne pc port uh but, I mean, who knows? If we get both, I would, uh, I would lose my mind. But, uh, 
yeah, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm honestly shocked that a Bloodborne PC port hasn't happened yet, but it may have to do with, I don't know, potential remaster or remake that they might be working on. A remaster is probably more likely for Bloodborne. There are rumors floating around surrounding that. But, um, yeah, it's hard to... Hard to say for sure if either of those will show up here. Again, I'm, like, expecting a pretty low-key presentation, but if they surprise us with some Pragmata or um, with uh, some Silent Hill, or, I mean, with a, bl a Bloodborne PC port announcement, that would that would be more than enough to, to uh, elevate this state of play as uh, one of the most hype, if you ask me. Matt H says, Dad of Boy. I, I, I hope we get to see some of that at this presentation, but I highly doubt it, given how much they emphasize here that they're focused on Japanese developers. But I guess we'll see. Uh, I should maximize this. Make sure it's uh, 1080. Good, good, good. <clears throat> okay. Let's see. I might have missed some super chats here. Uh, oh, we got a new member here, the Killer Bear. Hello, welcome. Thank you so much for your um, generous contribution. Gabe M says, do you think the recent rumors of Metal Gear remakes or remasters are real? I do think that there is something Metal Gear related in development. I do believe that it's going to be a remake. There's some debate as to whether it's going to be an MGS3 remake or an MGS1 remake. Uh, different reports on that front. But um, I do think uh, Konami is trying to get back into uh, AAA game development and they're largely trying to like license out their IPs instead of working on that stuff in-house, which is, I think, the best move, given that the times have, they've tried working on these IPs and new entries in-house, it didn't go well. So better leave it to developers who know what they're doing or who are more passionate about these series to do them justice. So, uh, yeah, I do believe that on some level, the Metal Gear remake rumors are real. The specifics, though, we don't know much more about. Ashton de Rojas says, Bloodborne on PC, don't give me hope, Yong. Man, it's the chat that's giving me hope. Uh, somebody brought it up, and uh, now I'm like, yeah, there's a, a ray of uh, maybe it'll happen. But if, if it's bound to happen, I don't think, I don't think it, it would be in this 20-minute presentation. It'd have to be in a big, you know, Sony PlayStation showcase, right? I mean, the, Bloodborne is such a... I mean, it's become such a, a beloved IP at this point that uh, I don't think they're going to relegate that to just uh, a 20-minute state of play. But who knows? Who knows? Like, I've, I've seen uh, more unexpected things happen. Uh, Ab uh, Ab uh, Ab Abisek. Oh, Abisek. Abisek Mukherjee says, Hope to see the Uncharted 4 release it for PC today. That's also a Western studio thing that's Naughty Dog, and this stream is focused on Japanese developers, so I don't think that would happen at this event. But maybe they will throw in one or two Western studio announcements here and there alongside a slew of um, Japanese studio-related announcements. I mean, that's a possibility, so I'm not ruling it out. I just uh, don't be too disappointed if you don't get, you know, anything from Naughty Dog or anything from Santa Monica and all these Western studios. Um, SpideMian1 says, do you think we will see Resident Evil 4 Remake gameplay? Huh. That is, that would be Japanese. Um, that would be, um, yeah, that would be Capcom. So, honestly, yeah, I don't, I don't see why that wouldn't be a possibility. Um, but that, that's one of those announcements that feels too big for this smaller 20-minute event. But if they can show, like, a little teaser trailer or something or just, like... Just give us a bit more information. You know, it doesn't have to be too long, a couple minutes long, you know. I'd be down for that, and that's uh, not impossible, given that it is within uh, the, the umbrella of Japanese studios, which is the focus of this presentation. Um, Taz, Tazmeister says, I'd love a full remake of MGS1. My friend and I are playing through it at the moment for the nostalgia. So... Um, if the MGS film still happen, is the MGS MGS film still happening or what? Who knows uh, about the Metal Gear Solid movie? Uh, it may be in some kind of development hell, given that it's been so long since we heard from it. Or maybe it's just things are really quiet and uh, they're just uh, really 
taking their time with it, hard to say for sure, but yeah, I wouldn't mind a Metal Gear Solid 1 remake either. That game's old enough where um, I feel like they could do a lot with uh, a Metal Gear Solid 1 remake. Obviously, some will argue about how there is that GameCube remake, the Twin Snakes, but I'm not. I, I'm personally not a big fan of the Twin Snakes. I always gravitate towards the original. It's just that the way they change some of the cutscenes and the tone of the game, the music, you know, is different. I think for licensing reasons and all these things, and it just doesn't quite capture the original. And uh, I hope that uh, if Sony, you know, are are helping with the making of a Metal Gear Solid One remake, it'll feel more true to the original while modernizing what needs to be modernized. Um, Twin Snakes just deviated just enough, and the MGS2 gameplay that they kind of put into MGS1, I don't feel like it meshed very well with MGS1's level design, you know, and stuff like that, so... I'm, I don't think it's bad, it's just like, the original is superior, and um, I don't think Twin Snakes is a, a good excuse to not make another more modern remake, if that makes sense. But MGS3 remake, I'd be super down for. Or Metal Gear 1, Metal Gear 2 remakes, you know, for the MSX. Uh, those would be more from the ground up, you know, a lot more uh, substantial in terms of the kind of remake it would be. It'd be, you know, more akin to like an FF7 remake or a Resident Evil remake type of situation. Instead of just, you know, graphics, a major graphics overhaul. Um, but, yeah, we'll see what happens. Nexus, uh, Foxy says, I hope they announce Killzone series for PC. That'd be really cool. Man, we haven't heard from Killzone in, in a while, and that's because um, Gorillaz found just more success with Horizon, critically and commercially, even though, you know, Killzone is still a beloved series. But if that were to be ported over to PC, it might uh, draw in a new audience for that series. That'd be great. Pavel uh, Grasimov says, Hi, Ong. Always nice to see you. Nice to have you here, man. Thank you. How come you've never finished Bloodborne? Wait, wait, wait. Where, where'd you hear such uh, sacrilegious uh, rumors? Uh, I have finished Bloodborne, though admittedly more recently than many of you might have. Even 30 FPS, it's a freaking masterpiece. It's really hard to say what's better, Bloodborne or Elden Ring. So I actually, a couple months ago, I did install the 60 frames per second mod from Lance McDonald on my PlayStation 4, and I essentially did all of that and played Bloodborne at, like, essentially, I'd say 45 to 60 frames per second, uh, you know, occasional dips here and there, but much smoother than default 30 FPS frame pacing issues Bloodborne. So I did finish it, in fact. I finished every single uh, Soulsborne game. Uh, that FromSoft has released, including Dark Souls 2, also kind of recently. And yeah, I freaking love Bloodborne. And uh, a sequel, I think, is long overdue. I hope, um, I mean, if they do like an open world Elden Ring style Bloodborne Victorian, you know, gothic, oh my god, that'd be, that'd be something else, huh? But no, I have finished Bloodborne. And it's definitely one of my tops when it comes to FromSoft, uh, FromSoft games. But, you know, Sekiro and Elden Ring are still like my tops, I'd say. Um, but I love all of them, honestly. Dark Souls 2, I'm a little mixed about. But other than that, I, I pretty much uh, enjoyed all of them. And uh, I'm a big fan of FromSoft. Uh, Gan RPG, hello, good sir. Hey, Yong, have you heard about the Kickstarter for spiritual successors of Wild Arms and Shadow Hearts? I haven't been more happy for something in my life personally. So I'm, I didn't... Those are not series that I personally... Um, was too attached to or, or grew attached to. I just don't know much about them. But uh, it's great to know that uh, fans of those series are, are getting some love with some spiritual successors, and I'm glad to hear that people are excited about that. Uh, J Comic Z says, Worst case scenario, another Street Fighter VI character reveal. Best case scenario, Final Fantasy game where Yong does all the voices. Uh, I don't know if you guys want that. No, no, no. You, you, you definitely want variety in voices. We don't want, you know, an Elder Scroll situation here where uh, ten voice actors voice all the NPCs. You know, we, we want as much variety as possible and uh, every person to feel unique. I can voice a couple characters maybe, but <laughs> to voice the whole cast, uh, that'd be insane. An, an interesting challenge, but, yeah, no, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know about that one, Chief. Uh, T. Dewar, T. Dewar, 1987 says, "Legend of Dragoon remake." Ooh, Legend of Dragoon. That there is a, a title I haven't heard in a long time. Sus says, "Is Yongya yeah, your actual name?" Um, it's 
two syllables of my much longer name is what I'll say. Um, it's not my full name, but it is part of my real name. Um, so uh, I just it, it's it's a much more abridged version of my full name is how I'll put it. So it's technically my stage name, but you know elements of my real name are definitely in there. Uh, it's just uh, yeah. Again, an abridged version of my full name. Uh, Time Lord Rick says, "My gut says Final Fantasy 16. If they can reveal FF 16, that you know, and show a bit of gameplay, and show more than they've shown, I'd be uh, I'd be happy with that. That's you know, the Japanese developer, Square Enix, obviously. Um, so yeah, and, and I'm seeing a lot of great uh, comments and a kind um, uh, posts in the chat. Sorry, I can't get to all of them. It's hard to like." try to answer every single thing here, um, but I appreciate all of you sharing positive sentiments. Uh, Robert Alexanderson says, hey, Yong, yeah, I love your content. I've always wondered, is there a coincidence uh, that you're so alike the hero in Ghost of Tsushima? Really? I, like, in terms of looks or personality, because I, I personally don't see it, but, I mean, if you think so, hey, I mean, he's kind of badass, so I'll take that as a compliment. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I, I That's the one that I haven't really gotten. Uh, people haven't really... I, I don't get, you know, you look like or or um, behave like Jin Sekai. Um, I haven't gotten that one very often, so... But hey, um, he's a cool character, so... K-Chan says, my Super Sony announcement dream is a Twisted Metal Battle Royale. Oh, Twisted Metal Battle Royale, since we won't ever see Activision's uh, Vigilante 8. Um, huh. You know, uh, Battle Royale would suit uh, Twisted Metal quite well. So, uh, I know that genre, obviously, is kind of considered overplayed. But uh, Twisted Metal bring, bringing itself back through Battle Royale could be interesting. Schmeck says, let's go. Watching the state of play with y'all is awesome. Yong, you the man. Your content's dope. No, you're dope. You're all dope. Um, Lem1697 says, What was your favorite announcement from Nintendo this morning? Personally, mine was Harvest Moon, a Wonderful Life remake. Um, that game was my childhood, and I must play for any Farm Sim fan. I was not expecting Pikmin 4, so that's up there. Oh. Sorry, folks. Let's, uh, let's see what... Whoa. Oh, Tekken 8! Yo. I know this was teased during, I think it was Evo. Ooh, the graphics have definitely gotten uh, an uplift uh, with his new uh, this is Unreal Engine 5, I believe. Got all that sweat. Oh, wow. Those, those muscles. Uh, Damn, this looks good. <laughs> this definitely looks in engine, too. Ah, the classic. Oh, yeah. The way they're integrating gameplay moves with cinematics is really cool how they have made this trailer. Damn, yeah, these graphics, y'all. Ah, oh, there it is, eight. <laughs> okay, uh, int okay. They've kicked it off with a pretty major announcement, so uh, we'll see how they close it's the show. It's official. Tekken 8 is coming to the PlayStation 5 console courtesy of our battle-hardened friends at Bandai Namco Entertainment. Now, let's check in on two games in development for PlayStation VR 2. Ooh. PlayStation VR 2 has the potential to take VR into more sort of mainstream, you know. VR still developing, still story young. I was telling, it was about a certain droid repair tech who had no business getting into this kind of trouble. But there they were, standing against evil wherever it popped up. 
I mean, for a VR game, visually. There are a few new items on the shelves that might catch your eye. Well, it looks, it looks pretty alright. The locals can be a little rough on tourists, but uh, it's nothing you can't handle. The shooter primarily would see. The first order on Batu. Surely we can count on you now. Oh, hello, my friend. Ah. Uh, definitely some recognizable characters in this. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Just, it seems all right. Ready for battle. Let all monsters beware. My aim is true. Taste my steel. I call lightning. A VR tabletop. Bullseye. Minis based card game of sorts. Go back to the abyss! Let them deal. Back! You will be destroyed! I summon my armor! What does that say? De Danio? Okay. It's fascinating. That could be fun. Demio brings the creativity and chaos of a tabletop RPG to Someone PSVR say chaos. 2. I must kill this chaos. next game is being rebuilt from the ground up and will be available outside of Japan for the first time. Oh. A lone samurai embarks on a secret quest for revenge and sparks the greatest revolution. Wait, this looks like. Wait, Yakuza, right? The, the, like the graphics engine, I immediately recognized. Yo. Yo. Are you kidding me right now? A samurai era Yakuza game? Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah, the chat's hype too. Oh, are you kidding me? Wait, is that Samurai Majima? Ishin, what? Oh. You're gonna have to call me back. Okay, Th this state of play is, it's, the, the announcements are a little more Hello, substantial than Madam I expected. Mason? I understand you have a shop to sell. I think you will find my terms quite generous. What's the catch? You are wise to be wary. Why is your mistress selling the shop? She has had rotten bad luck with the last few tenants. What is this? It kind of does look like a Harry Potter. Those game. who came before you just could Jesus. not seem to escape the darkness. Will you? Yeah, I, I guess it's a Japanese. Watch box. your step. Oh, it's Hogwarts Legacy. Why is that here? I was like, it looks like Hogwarts Legacy, but I wasn't expecting to see Hogwarts Legacy in this presentation. Yeah, it's like Warner Brothers. It's like, that's not Japanese, but, you know, whatever. Okay, so there is a chance we'll see more Western stuff. So I suppose anything goes. We'll see some God of War. Maybe. What is this? Alan.
Alan Wake, people are presuming. Alan Wake 2. A long-awaited sequel. I don't know, the visuals look... Like, really sort of animated. Like, stylized, you know? Warning. Warning. An instability front is approaching. Take immediate shelter in a stabilized area. Locations impacted include sectors Delta and Echo. Whoa. I don't know, I'm not... I'm not getting Alan Wake vibes from this. Seems like it something else that I might be dead wrong. I mean, whatever it is, it looks fascinating. Another Pacific one. Drive. After all these years... Has this been announced before? Call her. Now. Yeah, it's a... It's a... I don't know much about Pacific Drive. Is it an existing IP or a new IP? Seems like a new IP. I mean, I'm intrigued. Survive a ride from 5. hell in Pacific Drive. The debut game from Ironwood Studio. Up next, let's check in on PlayStation Stars, a loyalty program rolling out soon. Hi everyone, I'm Grace Chen. Not long ago, we announced our brand new loyalty program called PlayStation Stars. It's designed to celebrate you, the players. It will be free to join PlayStation Stars. As a member, you can complete various activities to earn points that can be redeemed for rewards. Digital collectibles are a highlight of the program. These are digital representations of things that PlayStation fans love. Plenty of people Today, got paranoid this might I'm be NFTs. I'm pleased to give you a sneak peek at some examples of our digital collectibles. Sony and PlayStation have come out and said these are not NFTs. Whether it's a beloved so. game character or a cherished device from Sony's innovative history, like there will always be something you need that. to collect and show off to your friends. And I have more good news. PlayStation Stars will begin to roll out in some regions in Asia starting in late September. It will launch in the Americas and Europe in the weeks that follow. That's it for now. Check PlayStation Blog to learn more about PlayStation Stars. Okay. What do we have here? Whoa. What? Wait. No, no, no. I was like, is this Pragmata or? Generator's ゲーゲキシステム起動。強敵ではありますが、我々の本気を見せてあげま。ファイナルゲーム対象から攻撃。ドラッグ Oh my. Okay. I'm I'm intrigued by that. These next two intense action games are PS5 console exclusives. Let's take a look. It had like Lost Planet vibes. I don't know if it was just me. If I'm remembering that right. Oh, this is it Korean. 
인간들은 무력했어 인류는 형편없이 무너져간 People are saying Project Eve in the chat? 자이오니아, 버려진 자들의 도시지 전성기에는 10만 명 이상이 살았던 곳이야 건설한 도시라니 Right, I think we have seen this before It's starting to come back to me a little bit 여긴 무덤인 건가요? 아니, 이곳의 주민들은 에너지 고갈로 잠들어 있는 거야 이대로 간다면 Wow, the jiggle physics though. 이 영혼은 어둠뿐이지 이브 우리를 도와줘 조심해! 리스팅되지 않는 네이스구야 아담, 뒤로 물러나! like near automata vibes a little bit of the ghost mode for your jingle like the gameplay looks pretty flashy and cool impossible to know what the plot of this is what's insane Project Eve, there it is. Stellar Blade. Stella Blade. That's how that reads. Console exclusive. Okay. Looks pretty dope. I don't know how it feels to play, but, uh... I don't know. It's got a lot going for it, I'd say. Oh! Koei Tecmo. An engine. Three centuries of the Tokugawa's repressive rule, the black ships appeared without warning, and our nation began to tear itself apart. Those who cleave to the past, those who embrace the new, and the Ronin, a warrior free of all masters and bonds. Whoa! I will watch over you all. Whoa, 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 whoa. As your blades carve a new future. It's like Ghost of Tsushima meets Assassin's Creed meets uh, Ninja Gaiden. Your time has come. Rise as one. Rise of the Ronin. Color me intrigued. I'm into this. I am into this. Is it more traditional action adventure? Is it souls like a sprawling action RPG from Team Ninja? Before we wrap up, we've got one more update for you. Oh, is it got a war? This is a first party thing. Is it something? Whoa! Oh yeah, that's right. I did see something. Forgot about the big good boy. Oh, it's just a controller announcement. <laughs> Do 
Give it to me, boy. Wait, come on. This has got to be a little, a little more, right? Yes. Everyone okay. keeps secrets. Sometimes it's the only way to protect the ones we love. I know you. What? God killer. What is it you want from me? Is it a god of war you came to find? So that's it, huh? We're some kind of we god of really war? war. Ragnarok? Do you, Kratos? All that blood on your hands? On your son's hands? What is it you will not tell me? I can't talk about it. But I just need you to trust me. We follow your every whim. But you don't believe in any of it. And still, I follow. Because all that matters is that you are safe. But that's not all that matters. Who's keeping you safe? I do not need you to protect me. You sure about that? Pretender God! Oh, my God! Father! Death can have me when it loves me. What do you even know of God's book? In your lifetimes, has anyone ever worshipped you? Ever prayed to you? Can you even imagine that kind of love? No! You don't care about anything beyond yourself. Beyond the monster who kills without cause. So good. Good boys. Fate only binds you if you let it. What? Holy shit, what is happening? Do what is necessary. Not because it is written. Whoa, what? God. We'll make our own destiny. Oh my god. Ah, oh, that made it all worth it. Oh man, this looks so good. Oh, okay, I need and it. That's I need the show. it. God of War Ragnarok comes to PS5 oh, and PS4 on November man. 9th. See you next time. There's so much they haven't shown us. PS we got like little glimpses of other environments. God. <laughs> Thick we'll boy Thor. Destiny. <sighs> 11 9 2022, ladies and gentlemen. Less than a month to go, uh, or less than two months to go. Um, I mean, this was more than I thought this was going to be, honestly. We got Tekken 8. Um, we, I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with this state of play. I, I thought it was going to be, like, a lot of indie stuff and, like, one or two big announcements, but we got Tekken 8, which looks damn good. Uh, we got some, like... Oh, what else did we get that was big? Uh, right, I mean, we, we got the, 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 the... Samurai Yakuza game. And we got some, like, really interesting-looking stuff as well along the way. Project Eve and this, uh, this, this, yeah, Project Eve is right here, and then this other samurai game from uh, Koei Tecmo from Team Ninja, which looks pretty dope, honestly. Rise of the Ronin, which again feels like this this mashup between uh, like Ghost of Tsushima and Ninja Gaiden, and uh, like a little uh, some Sekiro vibes even here and there. Um, I don't know. Whatever they're going for here, I'm intrigued by. And we actually got God of War, which I, I thought was just not going to be a thing in this more Japanese studios-focused uh, state of play. And, I mean, this look at, look at, look at some of these environments. 
Oh man, there's like so many cool set pieces already that you can. Oh, I mean, look at this shot here. Ah, oh, okay, 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 okay. All right, you guys get the idea. We, I, I honestly, this was pretty good. Uh, it, it, it was really well paced because it was 20 minutes. You know, they didn't waste a lot of time, and they just kind of boom, boom, boom showed us one cool thing after another, and we got God of War. We didn't get any like crazy new announcements per se, but that's. I mean, Tekken 8, it's, 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 you know, the fighting, uh, the, the fighting gaming community is, uh, probably pretty happy about that, and Tekken happens to be one of my, uh, more favored fighting games, uh, like, aside from Super Smash Brothers, Tekken's probably the one that I lean more towards, you know, between, like, Street Fighter and Soul Calibur and, you know, whatever, Virtual Fighter and all these, uh, and, or Mortal Kombat, Tekken's, like, my go-to among those types of fighting games, my favorite is still Super Smash Brothers, but yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see more Tekken. Um, yeah, no, this was this was pretty pretty cool, um, and they didn't waste too much of our time either. You know, it was 20 minutes, and you know, a, a decently dense 20 minutes. So I'm happy with it. What do you guys think about the the God of War trailer? People seem uh, pretty. Yeah, I mean, the majority of you seem pretty pretty excited about what was shown here. I mean, there's just so much cool stuff that we've glimpsed at. Giant freaking jellyfish flowing up in the sky. Like, the visuals, of how colorful everything looks. Uh, and how mesmerizing and mystical just the creatures and the, the, the environments are. I mean, it's such a different direction from, you know, the Greek mythology God of War series. And it's just... I mean, I'm excited to see Odin. I'm excited to, you know, see how Ragnarok, you know, plays out. We know for a fact that God of War Ragnarok is the last in the Norse mythology series. So Ragnarok is going to happen and shit's going to go down. And I'm excited to see how that plays out. Um, combat looks, you know, improved uh, visually. Just, yeah, I mean, I really hope they uh, they nail it with this one. It looks like they poured a lot of heart and soul and passion into this. Um, God of War 2018 is, is straight up one of my favorite games of all time. Um, and so my anticipation for this uh, sequel cannot be understated. But, uh, yeah, no, I, I had a good time overall. And um, I think this is a good place to end it. I don't see any, any pertinent questions or comments or concerns. But, yeah, uh, plenty of people seem to have given this presentation like an 8, 9 ish area uh, sp sp uh sg3 legacy says i want to see spider-man bro fair enough but uh yeah i i am not surprised that spider-man wasn't in, in this one that's more in the more distant future god of war was among the more likely to show up here because of how close it is to release date but spider-man like they can take their time with marketing for that one you know um it showed a bit of Hogwarts Legacy, which, I don't know, I, Hogwarts Legacy is not really, like, hitting me with a whole lot of excitement currently. Um, like, an open-world Hogwarts AAA game, like, don't get me wrong, the, the prospect of that is certainly going to leave a lot of Harry Potter fans excited. But um, so far, the, the footage that they've shown of that game just hasn't really, like, made me go, oh, I need this, you know. Um... No Bloodborne, unfortunately, and no Knack 3, so that already brings it down a couple points, of course, you know. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I guess, I guess what, how you grade this depends on just how much exactly you're expecting from this. When they tell you it's a 20-minute state of play presentation, that's usually a sign to, like, temper expectations. Um, and so I tempered mine, and I got more than I thought I would from such a short uh, state of play. Ashton De Rojas says, maybe Bloodborne on PC were the friends we made. <laughs> maybe Bloodborne on PC were the friends we made along the way. The the hunters we made along the way, yes. Um, but that's that, ladies and gentlemen. I'm pleased. I'm pleased. And I'm more excited now for God of War than ever. And uh, this is a good place to end it. Uh, excited for the future. Thank you for tuning in, folks. Thank you for choosing to hang out with me. And um, look forward to more streams. There's been there's been a lot of streams happening. There's been like E3's worth of streams back to back in the past like couple days, 
And uh, yeah, I'm curious to see <laughs> what other presentations we can expect. And I'll uh, try to stream as many of them as possible. I wanted to stream the Nintendo one, but it was like like 7 a.m. my time, and I just I, I had a late night. I'm just like I'm, I'm not gonna be awake for this. So didn't do a stream for that one. Maybe I'll do like a separate video talking about it or something. I also do want to talk about the Disney Marvel showcase. I'm gonna do a separate video for that because that was really really bad. <laughs> it was the opposite of like this right here. Um, you know, it was roughly 20 minutes, but it was like a bunch of mobile games and some stuff that just really wasn't all that compelling. So, um, But other than that, thank you for tuning in, folks. I look forward to more streams like this, more gaming news, reviews, discussions, all that jazz. And with that, I will see you guys next time. Yong out. Peace out.